Beano Black, ladies and gentlemen, and here we go, folks. We're looking at the tsunami warning that was issued. Now, relax, this was on the 5th, okay? But this was the tsunami warning that was issued. But, you know, it was just basically, you can read it. I'm not going to go word to word. And basically what they show is a 7.6 also. 7.6 moment, okay. We know they always take off. That was 7.5. So, and I kind of apologize since I'm into earthquakes, right? The idea that everything is in space has been a little bit more interesting of late. So we're going to go to that stuff too. Now what I've got is I've also got, uh, I believe, hang on a second. And no apologies, folks, but as you know, I feel a little guilty than not being right on top of the quake, but I've got a life and been pretty darn busy. So basically this is really late, okay, but basically these are some stories that are around the net on it. And then I'll show you the signature also from the... Uh, Earthquake, because um, live Earthquake 3D, and basically what it, what the thing is is it's got a pretty big, 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 big signature. You're gonna see it right away. See that big signature all the way across, okay? And then you go looking at it too. It's goofy. Is you go looking at it and you try to drop it down, and I'll show you that real fast. Because I go like this, and I'll go up, and then it'll come up. There it came up, right? It doesn't show. It doesn't say how big it is. So, Earthquake 3D has got some kind of deal with USGS about making everybody think that the quakes are smaller. And, and watch right here again, as you see, this is the big outline of the quake. And as I go, I got some kind of secret little pack that don't show that it, we get into 6.0 or 7.0 quakes and stuff like that, okay? Or some damn thing. Because for some reason, they won't show the data here of it being a 7.5 quake. A and F showed it as 6.8, and if anybody's been watching too, the New Madrid's been getting all kinds of action, and just recently today too, it's got some more fresh action going on. Okay, and I'm not going to edit. Screws up what I'm showing you. There you go, action, action. All this stuff is, and you've got your right over here if anybody's new. So, uh, we got quake action, and then we'll take and do. We'll see what also is on this one here real fast with doing that. It should load, and as you can see, that's your signature all over the world pretty much right there. Okay. So, and we got the list down here too. So you see North America's been pretty busy, and basically Alaska's got a lot of action going on. So, and we've been having a lot of action in the... Atlantic Ocean for the last two months. If everybody's paid attention, okay. It's been a lot of quakes all over the Atlantic, all, all the way up in Greenland, Newfoundland. And so a lot of stuff going on, a lot of quake action. Uh, basically, we've gotten used to it because we've been going for this for two plus years now, okay, of very high uptick in quakes. So I go over to the lies, our live. Uh, graph and uh, there's been quite a bit of action today uh, I could probably refresh this you can see the uh, if I keep it at this size just scroll through here real fast when I get busy and I don't have time to make uh, videos that much and I've been slacking and so forth not I haven't that I've been slacking it's just the idea that been too busy with other things to be making uh, videos so uh, let's go take a look at what we've got going uh, with in space we got this I'm pretty sure that that's probably Jupiter that we've got that's hanging around there we'll know in a couple more days of seeing what we got hanging around so I do think that this is Jupiter I just wouldn't bet a lot of money on it but the one very very outrageously interesting thing is what a lot of people said and then we get when we get the the douchebags that come in and try to say stuff that the idea that you know just dis anything you know you can't discredit it because it's all data and it's right in front of your face, okay? But they try to make out like, what do you? What's the big thing about you know? They make smart ass remarks. You see these stupid comments. I'm not even going to say what they are. Shouldn't even. But the idea that we have got amazing discoveries that's going on here that we're seeing off the Sohonk. Now, what's great about this one today? The footage from the fifth, and I can actually think I can pull up the sixth too, is you know. That that planet, whatever the heck it is, it's not marked, it's not Earth, and absolutely, you can see the low and high of it, okay? And it's closer to the sun, so that means this is actually closer to Earth, 
okay? This magnetical and everything like that. Now, sure, it looks like it's closer to Jupiter and probably is, but the idea that this is closer to Earth than it is than uh, into the Sun, now it's, it's, it is probably closer to Jupiter, but the idea that this is pretty damn close to the Sun, because the CME that hits it and shows the magnetical, this is closer than Jupiter is, okay, to us, okay, to Earth, okay? So, and then I'll give you the whole field of view there, but you're not really missing nothing up high. So this is our planet, and a lot of people that are smart, and then all the magneticals that we've been finding ever since they had problems with that comet that came by, which I believe, if I remember right, now remember, we have DA-14, and then the news has started to pick up on that. You can see uh, there was something on CNN or NBC or something like that today about the comet uh, that's going to be coming around. Uh, basically, it's not a comet, it's an object. And it's like, they're saying it's 150 feet. I'll go to spaceweather.com here in a minute and get that. Uh, let's see what else I got from Sechi. I got this I can zoom in on. We're showing the earthquake. It takes a lot of time away. But you can, so you can see the straight out the crossness. Now that, sure, Earth a little bit high, but it's not that kind of. But then it could be with angles. But the thing is, why doesn't NASA say that that's Earth? And it really isn't. I don't believe that that's Earth. Uh, you're getting that from A. And now we'll go ahead and we'll give you a shot from uh, we'll give you a shot from uh, B on the red, okay. And then what's interesting, we'll hit play on this. And what's great on this is you realize that Jupiter is closer to uh, should be to the sun on a view on this one here. And I'm gonna have to take some time here because this isn't really there. We got it playing now. But what's interesting too is we have action up here next to Jupiter also, and I'm wondering, and now this could be what we're seeing also, but I really don't think so because I don't see the magnetical on it. But no matter what, we get it from, when we're, si when we're sitting over here, we're getting it on Sechi, okay? We're getting the magnetical, and that's not Earth down there, okay? This is not Earth. So as I showed before in my previous video before this one, you'll just see that when I load it up. You go watch that, and it, I have the information exactly proves that the idea that this is not Earth and it shouldn't be anything we know to be down there. And it's there. And it's damn huge because Jupiter's the biggest damn thing that we're supposed to have in our solar system. Okay? And this thing's closer to the sun than uh well than Jupiter. It's that simple. Okay? That flipping simple. Now in the low lying areas of Alaska and also West Coast Canada and West Coast America in Mexico, basically North America and South America. Watch out for tsunami warnings, okay? Keep alert of the earthquakes in your area because you were lucky that this thing wasn't bigger and that, you know, I screwed up and well, just I have too busy with my own life of showing an earthquake video immediately, okay? Sometimes I can have time to do it, right now not. And I don't even take time to go back in the video and check my stuff, but here's a fresher, I believe either that or it's the same shot I've already showed you, but there you go. Could be fresher, I believe. Now people make the good comments, like some people have made good comments. We've got the biggest thing we know of in our universe out there, which is Jupiter, in this shot here. And it's got something close to it that's pretty damn close to the same damn size, and that's not Earth. And if it is Earth, then mark it, NASA, okay? But it sure the hell doesn't seem that that's to be Earth right there, okay? Actual, factual, does not seem to be that to be Earth. So what the hell is it? Because there's something huge that's closer to the sun, and it's up by Jupiter, NASA. And we know it, because the CME is hitting it before it hits Jupiter. So get your head out of your ass, tell us what the hell it is. And I caught this today from the 5th, and anybody that's been watching my videos for a long time, and basically, you know, I'm gonna, I have to hold comment back, but you, as you can see, there is curvature on this here, okay? And this is not man-made, and this is huge. And yes, and then it comes down to communications. So you might be actually getting a message somewhere in the United States government from our projects of, yep. Movie with Jodie Foster, prime numbers. Okay, there you go. Visible by themselves. All right, there you go. A dot. Okay, so prime numbers. Okay, in Jodie Foster's movie. Okay, and yes, it's kind of a, and I'm not any part of it, but I'm just giving you. There's always the possibility. As vast as space is, there's very much that possibility. Especially since now the light's being curved and we always keep on seeing two, okay? We're just getting two lately. So 
evidently something's talking to something. And that's as far as Bino will ever go on that one. So anyway, it's always in the realm of possibilities and it's in every human being's mind. All right. And I'm not part of anything to do with any of that crap. But let's zoom in on this anyway. While we got it, there. let's get up to... Uh, Get up there and scoot up on that puppy. Anyway, but we got huge light action coming across out in space, and we're not doing it, folks. This is not man-made, okay? And it's got a curve to it. First time we've seen that. So, what if they can hear us? What's scary is what if they can hear Bino? <laughs> and yeah, whatever. This is the comedy 15-minute movie that I've ever made, okay? But there's still a little bit of possibilities out there. Okay, especially since space is infinite in size and the world just hiding out like a little flipping rabbit hole. These things are bigger than Jupiter. Okay, these light probes basically actually are bigger than the sun. Okay, dit dot, dash dash, dash dash. All right, anyway, dash dash. I know that nothing man made can do that big. Okay, can't make it that big, can't make that big of light flashes. Okay, so. Anyway, there's a movie out there, okay? And I'm not a fan of her, but basically that she was in the movie. And I can't even remember her name now, can I? <laughs> so anyway, don't worry, folks. Even if it was Sasquatch, I would knock it down and stuff it. And I'd have a museum and I'd be rich, okay? And there ain't no aliens that we know of. So, absolutely, we got a planet that... NASA doesn't let us know too much about there because either that or that's Earth. Somehow they get a wild trajectory of seeing Earth like that. But this is the same, not the same satellite, but there's B. And let's go ahead and take a look over at B, okay? Now this footage from the 6 is even more incriminating. And if I didn't do that, it's even more incriminating because as you can see, the actual size of whatever the hell it is, it's rotating the same as Jupiter counterclockwise okay and it's going counterclockwise I believe it sure looks like it and it's the same damn size as Jupiter even from a goddamn distance they're shooting farther away so they're basically knowing the same thing that we know of the idea that when you get close so they're getting farther away and they're going goddamn this thing's just just about it. and it's closer to the flipping Sun from the footage from the fifth so NASA knows what Bino's telling you so I sure am glad. And then the joke, folks, this is just a joke put up everybody's ass. It's naysayers. Is uh, it's a good thing that all the stupid people come watch my videos, okay? So anyhow, actual factual data from NASA. There's your rotations. There you can concentrate on it and don't even believe what I'm saying. And I could be wrong. You check it out. See what you got for rotation there, okay? Because it's playing. And how many? We're only getting a couple hours too. As you see, they're only getting what five, six hours six maybe seven at the most so let's get over to b i'm sorry about not getting to b right away but i did have a six here on the a making this video real fast and getting it out there basically it froze this part on this here and then basically you can see right there that it pretty much looks like that could be uh venus and mercury from a big distance either that or that's what we're seeing over on a okay because we're at b here and at that flash we get that there's two planets right there with earth so what the hell are they and that's coming from b okay now, when we hit play, you're going to end up seeing that they're going to end up disappearing magnetically wise. You're not going to see them no more, you see? But you, you kind of can. And they're there, flash. You can see it as it flashes. Those two planets right there are there. And there's Earth there doing its thing there. So, is that what we're seeing from over at A? Are we seeing, is that Jupiter? And is that what's below and closer to uh, this one here would be the closer one to the Sun, okay? That we're seeing from over at A. So, definitely, we got something going on out there. So, that's what you can see right there. And then let's zoom in real fast here. Boom, we'll hit 400. Uh, doggone it. I know I'm running out of time. Up we go. Okay, those two planets are there. Flash, flash. Those are there. That should be Ver Venus and Mercury. Uh, yeah, Venus and Mercury should be. And Earth's over here to the right. We're going to come down. But what are we seeing when we're looking at A is what we're wanting to know. Okay? We're wanting to know now. So mark the damn thing. Now, that's a hell of a wide out shot, but it does get kind of hidden here. And then you can see, but you should know that by looking at Jupiter and Earth, that, that can't be too damn big and it's not marked Earth either. So, what the hell is it? It's too damn close. It's not Earth. 
Forget the gun crap. What's in?